Greetings and welcome back to another episode of the Daily Run and today we're playing as Eve. Yesterday's daily was actually pretty horrible, at least on my part. I didn't play well, I, I made a lot of mistakes and obviously the biggest one was dying very early on. Even though it was a super strong run, I had no reason to die and it's just it's just a bit of a bummer. And I hope that maybe this daily was gonna be the one to redeem me where I take the, the first spot and, and maybe go from there. But of course it was a mom's food daily which already didn't truly really instill me with confidence but at least you know if you do find a way to go forward maybe we do something that other people don't like maybe find a lucky shovel then maybe that way we can guarantee a pretty good spot in the end so i, I had my hopes up until that very first treasure room and it had blank card in it and then my hopes kind of went down because i knew that Anything I do, I'm not really gonna be the patient enough person to, to really take advantage of it. And even if I did, I still feel like there's a lot of things that you can do with blank card that people uh, would take the time to do and I just wouldn't or maybe I just wouldn't think about it uh, since I, I'm not really used to breaking so much with the item just because it is a bit tedious and that's basically the main reason uh, but but I, I, I did get some nice combos later on that I could have exploited and this video ended uh, with me making one of the biggest blunders I've made in the past. And you know, one thing is when you die and, and of course you play badly, but at least you can blame something on that. But when you make a blunder like the one I've made today at the end of the video, uh, then that's an entirely different story. And you'll see what it is, I don't want to spoil it, maybe... Maybe picture it as a teaser in some sort, so you can actually expect something uh, funny that's going to happen, but I'm not gonna get into that. So, we did get uh, a pretty nice selection of items very early on. Obviously, Incubus is great with Eve going to Mom's food. We really don't have anything to worry about. If we just stuck, stuck with the Razor Blade in our core of Babylon form, we can pretty much rely on that damage to carry us and, and essentially beat Boss Rush as well. Sure, it's gonna take a bit of time, but still, it's it's strong enough that you can actually go and you never feel star for damage. And maybe the best part of it is that you get that inherent speed upgrade. And of course, that does allow you to go a bit faster backtrack and that just gives you a little bit of extra time uh, when you're trying to make that objective and usually with Eve uh, there's nothing too much you can complain about sh since she's become such a such a strong character and one thing that I would like to mention or at least maybe the MVP of this entire run were sulfuric tears and I, I never really gave them too much respect just because of what the item represents. I, th I thought that it was just got, like a random chance to blow up a rock and at first I really didn't think much of it but later on or at least with this run I grew a new appre appreciation for it because that's actually really good. Not only can you blow up rocks and make pathways or just have an easier time clearing a room when you're fighting enemies, but you can also blow up skulls or mushrooms. And of course, skulls can contain runes or cards, and with blank card, that's really useful. Or they or mushrooms can contain items, something like magic mush, which is also what I've gotten in this run. And this is essentially for free. I didn't waste any bombs for it. What I required to get this was one item, and one item is worth like 50 points of damage uh, of item penalty, I mean, which is like of course less than a bomb but if you look at it and the scope of the whole run then i think you're just gaining points essentially and it's one of those items which is really good for utility and maybe has a lot of hidden usages that people don't realize at first like you pick it up and you're like okay you know th this can break rocks that's cool but that's not that impressive is there anything more that it can do and surprisingly there is and i was really surprised uh, to find out that you can actually use the sulfuric tears to break up walls, to find secret rooms and second secret rooms. And to me, that was that's crazy, because if you think about it, that's essentially like having unlimited bombs on your tears. And not only bombs to destroy walls, but also rocks and other things like that. So now suddenly you're in a position where you can use your... Uh, your, your tears to, to essentially blow everything up and find better things and all, not only do you not have to waste bombs and, and actually wait for your bombs to explode when you do place them down the, the process of finding a secret room is instant uh, with these tears and it just gave me a newfound appreciation because before I said that there were already words uh, for points and I mean the item like gives points basically when you blow up tinted drugs because you don't have to waste bombs and even if you find something like three tinted drugs in the whole run then I feel like you're already in the net positive but when you realize that secret rooms which are such an integral part of the dailies to get uh, and to get as far as possible then having a way to discover them without using bombs and of course losing points that way even though usually it's worth it 
that it, it just gives you like a little bit extra on the top and I really have a newfound appreci appreciation for this item which is something I've like said three times but whatever I, and I'll definitely pick it up in the future unless I have some other ways like something like x-ray vision and even in that situation it's still a little damage up which is not too significant but but at least it makes you feel a bit better about your overall DPS and because of how Isaac works enemies don't die when they hit the when they hit zero health, they, they die when their health is below zero, which means that there are a lot of enemies which are balanced around the base stat 3.5. So just having a little bit extra on top of that, then it just allows to one shot instead of two shot those enemies. And that's really what all everything that matters. So even those small damage increments aren't all that bad in the in the retrospect because they can save you from one two shotting an enemy to just one shotting an enemy. And of course I did boss rush. I took the teleport card with me. In this case I took the moon because I haven't been to the secret room yet. I went out, of course I tried to explore the rest of the floor. Uh, but something kind of intriguing happened. I I, I Went to the shop, obviously I have the blank card, I have the two of diamonds, I, I have restock and I have sack boys. So you're saying there's no way you can't break the game here. And um, of course, I, I will go to the shop, I'll try to buy as many items as I possibly can. I'll buy cards and hope that I get the two of clubs or maybe the two of spades. And that will just give me more consumable bonuses. And maybe in, in some regard, I get a restock card and then I can use that to reroll the items in the shop and get something good out of it. But I pick up a card. I thought it was the two of diamonds, but it was the emperor card and I teleport to the boss room and there's no way for me to get out because this is the mount floor and that was a huge blunder. I don't know why I didn't just isolate the two of diamonds card to the side and then pick it up when I needed it since I had so many battery charges but yeah I tried to break it and instead of what I did I just paid 50 cents which is like a thousand points and then I teleported to the boss room where which I can't exit. And now I'm in a position <sighs> That's what, this is what it is. What can you do? You can't do too much about it. I ranked 404, which is better than yesterday at least. Obviously it's not ideal, but still, at least we did finish the run. I had the enjoyment and if nothing else, I discovered a new item that I would... I, I gain new appreciation for a new item. And at least I always say if I do bad on a daily, at least I want to learn something new. And today I learned that Sylphuric Tears can blow up walls to discover secret rooms and second secret rooms. And that's really good. I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. And I hope to see you next time.